Welcome to this beautiful Adele song. I saw her uh, do this on a rerun of Jimmy Fallon last night, and um, I, just a beautiful song. So I had to sit down and learn it and watch the video on YouTube and how the guys played it. So um, basically, there's two guitar parts. Um, We'll go over both of them, but uh, the cording, which you can do, the main guitars don't really play the chords. It's, it's the keyboards and the bass keeping the rhythm, but you can play with it. I mean, it sounds beautiful, so, and people will recognize it. So we'll go through the chords. We'll go through what the other guitar is doing as far as the muted notes and the structure. And there's really only verse and chorus to this. So for this song, I've got a clean Fender Twin with a little bit of compression to even out the notes. And I'm in the middle pickup position of the Strat with my tone at about 8. So that should get you in the ballpark of the clean sound that you need for this song. I'll also upload my notes so everyone can download them. Uh, they'll be just below the uh, video here and uh, you can play along. That'll help you. Okay, the first chord is a basic G. We're capoed at the first fret. So we're going to speak to the first fret as 0. Okay. That's necessary to play these chords, okay? So we'll pretend that's zero, so we're actually on the um, G sharp, but we'll call it G because, again, we'll refer to the capo as zero. So we got a basic G, and you want to use your uh, ring and pinky finger down on the first and second string, all right? Because what you'll do is pick up your pinky, and you'll pick up your middle finger. You'll add your middle finger to the 4th string 2nd fret, that's an E minor 7th, so we got G, E minor 7th, alright, then they go to an E minor, or an E 7th suspended 4th, okay, sounds like a complicated chord, it's really pretty, what you're doing is just taking your middle finger off the 4th string, putting it onto the 3rd string, okay, and you've got everything else open. So that's an E7th sus4, and then we move to just an A sus4. So to do that, we take our first finger and just put that down on the fourth string, and everything else stays the same. Okay, so we have so far G, E minor 7th, E7 sus4, A sus4, and then there's a pickup note. What you're going to do is just hit the 6th string at the 2nd fret, and then back into your G. Now there's a triplet feel to the verse. Um, the chorus does have a little bit more of a picked up triplet feel, almost like um, 6 eighths, but uh, for this uh, verse you're playing basically like a triplet feel. She goes, let me down, let me down easy. What you're doing is a D over A. So basically, you know a D chord, you're just going to add the A bass note. Okay, so the fifth string. You don't want to play the sixth string. I use my thumb to mute it. All right, and then we're going to go to our E minor 7. Then our E sus, uh, E7 sus 4 again. that rolls back around. So that's the chorus. Alright, so then you're on the G, so you start back into the uh, verse. So those, that's the rhythm guitar if you want to play along with the um, melody of the song. And we'll talk about what the uh, 
muted guitar is doing next. What I noticed from the Jimmy Fallon uh, video, there's two guitars. And one is doing this real basic uh, playthrough of these notes, and the other is adding a little, little embellishment. And he actually does it up here. So what I'm going to do is show you it for one guitar. So if you just one guitar, you want to uh, do this, you'll be able to. But I'll show you also what they are doing with two guitars. This is going to be triplets. We're going to have a one, two, three feel to this. The muted guitar should sound like this. Uh, the capo doesn't really come into play in this, so I'll speak to the frets as normal. So, you know, this would be our third, fifth, seventh, nine, okay? So, because there's no open strings in this. So as you saw in the beginning, what we're going to do, we're going to mute the third and second string. So you want to kind of lay your palm against them. Okay, you'll get that kind of a tone. So we're going to start out on the third string, on the second string of the third. Then we're going to do three times. It's just a down, up, down. And then three times. Then we're going to do three times again, but the very last one starts you again. Okay, so it's... You're back to the six and seven. So let me do that slowly for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then you go back to the five after that seven. Now, the pickup uh, note that you hear is basically we're going to hammer on and pull off. All right, and then we'll mute. That's not muted. So you kind of got to lift your palm up. Let that hit hammer, hit it, hammer on and pull off. And then you're going to mute because that gives you time to get back to the rhythm. So, so just practice that slowly. What I'll do is I'll upload my notes. I got the chords written out, and I also wrote out uh, these notes. Okay, so watching Jimmy Fallon, um, the other guitar is doing um, the same notes, but on the fourth and third string, okay? So you're going to start out on the seventh fret of the fourth string, down to seven on the third, back to nine on the fourth. So you have this. I'll just do it without muting it. Then you're going to go back and forth between 7 and 9 with the triplets. Okay, and then you do your little hammer on and pull off right here from 7 to 9. And two hits on 9 on the 4th string. So that might be easier for you to play, especially muting it. Alright, so that is the other rhythm guitar. So with that said, watching Jimmy Fallon, the first guitarist was basically just doing a roundabout. Okay, so he's just doing... what we're going to do is take this, um, I call it the roundabout, but we're going to move that up from the um, third string up to seven and nine, okay? And this time we'll be using the second string here at eight. So what we're doing is seven on the third string, eight on the second to nine, and then we're going to do a triplet, and then on the seventh fret of the third, the ninth fret of the third, then three back on seven. Okay, and 
that's muted, but you just keep going around with that during the chorus because the chorus is emphasizing her voice and uh, the chords underneath. So it's, it's just a real basic riff. And again, it's triplets. into your uh, verse. So that is the whole song. I really hope you enjoy it. It's, it's a beautiful song. Great record. Enjoy.